Hey guys, do you want to see a movie that features a woman murdering a woman? And a movie featuring a horse-drawn carriage? And a movie kind of featuring Agatha Christie? Which one was she? If you do, <laughs> then Appointment with Death is for you. <laughs> Appointment with Death is the movie that we watched for this episode of Loose Cannon. This is a canon movie, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from 1988, uh, my name is Brian Lee. To my left is... Brian, Brian. To my right is... Is really? Christopher! <sighs> Agatha Christie? Yeah, which one's that? She wrote the book. Oh. So, yeah, yeah this mo- for people who have not seen this movie, uh, have either of you seen this before? No. I have no I, I've, I know Perot, though. P- Perot? Yes. Like, he's he there's a, a ton of, yeah, yeah. movies. Yeah, the guy ran for president. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'm, just, like, I'm just surprised you've never heard of Agatha Christie before. I, like, I've. I don't know. I just to me, it just yeah, just to me, very it's surprising. An author that's synonymous with middle school English. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or like murder mysteries, like Agatha yeah. Christie. Oh, it's a murder mystery. Like Ten Little Indians. Uh, what else did she write? I probably should have appointment with death. It. That classic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, for people who have not seen Appointment with Death, uh, synopsis: When a former prison wardress who dominates the lives of her three adult stepchildren and her daughter is found dead at an archaeological dig. Wow, that just keeps going, huh? Uh, basically, this woman who is terrible to her children dies while they're on vacation in Jordan? Israel? They, in the Middle East. In the Middle, yeah, yeah, because yeah, there's no Israel yet because it's before World War II. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yes, and when she dies, there are a great many suspects. Mm-hmm. Wait, when did World War II start? 1939. That's when Germany invaded Poland, I believe. That sounds right. Yeah, yeah. It's Polish people. It's fine. I'm Polish. I can say it. It's true. It's true. Brain Brand, do you recommend Appointment with Death? I do not recommend Appointment with Death. Brian! (laughs) You! You first! (laughs) Uh, No. Do not recommend this. No, I not. Yeah. Slow. Yeah. Slow. So, slow. One, I'm angry at this movie because uh, at the time of recording this, uh, Mank just came out. The movie Mank. Mm-hmm. Which I, is, I, I don't know what it's about, but I know what you're talking uh, about. David Fincher directed a uh, movie about the writing of Citizen Kane. Oh. Uh, soundtrack by Trent Reznor and hey. Atticus oh, wow. Ross. So super excited about that. I've been looking forward to Mank for <laughs> months now. Mm. Uh, it came on Friday. Yep. This, this, at the time of recording. And instead of watching that on Netflix, I had watched this movie, which is not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The And there's two reasons why I don't like it. One, again, it feels like a movie that if we had like a free day in middle school in English, this is what we would watch. Yeah. It's like that, you know they would stretch it out over a couple. Oh yeah. A couple different sessions. Well, you got to talk about the characters, right? You know. Yeah. And the other thing, like once I finished the movie and I was thinking about it, it's there's only one murder, yeah. right? So it's like once that happens, it's just kind of like, all right, who did it? Right. Yeah. Who done it? Yeah. 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 It's like, it's one of the yeah. And I feel like with movies like Ten Little Indians or whatever, like there's multiple murders, like people keep on dying. Yeah. So you're always constantly like, well, shit, if he just died, then that means he's not the right, you yeah. know, murderer. So yeah. who is it? So there's always constantly like intrigue. But this is just like, all right, one murder happened. And quite frankly, the mom is a terrible person. Yeah. So I when she died, I was like, all right. Yeah, I was like, oh, fine. Those kids are free. And yeah. then this, like, to me, it's like this Perot guy. He's like, dude, leave him alone. Like, these kids are finally free. He's like, no, we need the truth. It's like, okay, I get whatever. Yeah. Like, literally everyone in this movie is happier when she dies. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So like, yeah. you really need to solve this murder. <laughs> yeah, she was a horrible person. Did you guys have trouble keeping track of characters? Yes. A little bit. Like, I knew who, like, I knew who the daughters were, or, like, I knew who was related to uh, the lady. I knew who wasn't. I knew who the detective guy was, and then the colonel. But, but then, like... That's it, though. Like, I had to, like, write down, like, little things. Like, okay, Jefferson, lawyer. Uh, Dr. King is the British doctor lady. Raymond, that's the guy with the good haircut. Miss Boynton, that's the rich lady. Mr. Yeah. Perot, that's the detective. Carrie Fisher's Nadine. Uh, Carrie Fisher's in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Carol, that's the girl with the baby voice? Or no, is that Jenny? Jenny was the baby voice. Carol Ooh, I didn't even know Jenny was a person until the end. Like, ah, oh, Jenny! And I'm like, who the fuck's Jenny? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, no, Carol was on... 
with like the kind of old school like little bob with the bob haircut. right yeah, yeah. Like, she was the one who's like yeah she's the one that said that oh we got to kill her to the brother when they're on the oh, ship yeah. Yeah. That was her. yeah and yeah. then there was lennox yes. who uh, that is andrew guest which is the brother of Christopher Guest. Yes. The guy from Spinal Tap. And, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What else was Christopher Guest in? Was he in Saturday Night Live? Sure. But <laughs> if it's Christopher Guest's brother, that makes <gasps> him the brother in law of Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Oh, I'm like the Crypt Keeper. Freaky Friday. Uh, that lawyer's pretty sketchy. Yes. Just like Slurton burning Jefferson. wells. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he had to protect his own ass. It's understandable. And. It was just, it was very weird how he's like, he's like kind of like a, a sneaky rat at the beginning. And also he's like, I'm going to be decent. And then he starts like bringing this girl out digging. And like, he's, he just seemed like he turned from like a lawyer to like this like playboy type to this like yeah. lawyer again. It was very awkward. And I do not like his sunglasses. It made me think of the Nazi from Indiana yeah. Jones. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there was quite a few Nazis in Indiana Jones. Uh, there's like a, isn't there a cold open to this movie? Yeah, there is. They're in the office. It's like 1937. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that, and then it shows that whole where he's reading the the will. I think he's re he reads the will to her, and then, and then it does. It shows the credits with that like stupid like 1970s sitcom music. Yeah, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. It's like I was getting bad. ready for like a 1970s like buddy comedy called Strikeouts, where like really? two like baseball coaches have to raise a kid or something like that. <laughs> they own a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch it. How they busy is Strikeouts. <laughs> oh, I, I liked the uh, the mom when she goes, "Time for bed. It's nine o'clock." Right. And I was like, "Well, I mean, that's that, not too that good." Is, yeah, I, mean, I would go to bed at nine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And the bottle it just says poison. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. I didn't that understand that. No, yeah. no, but it kind of played like she killed the husband too at the beginning. Because remember, she had it and she looked at it in the beginning. Yes. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh yeah, I have this poison bottle." It's like, "Okay, did you kill the husband? Maybe I, I don't know." But then she tried to kill the Jefferson guy, but then Paxson or whatever his name was, Preston, it came uh, down. He's like, "My wife." He read the thing and he punched him in the face. Yeah, it was yeah. very. No, it's Lennox. Lennox. Yeah. There was a, there was something weird with that. I don't remember. But anyways, what was I saying? What was I, I don't know. This? They wanted to do the jitterbug. Yes. That yes, was the they thing. Did. And she's like, what's a jitterbug? It's, it's like, a little what? vacuum thing, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jitterbug. No, that's no, it's the, a phone, isn't it? Yeah, it's a phone. Yeah, it's got no, the huge numbers. Oh, my God. No, there's a cricket, but the jitterbug's the phone, too. It's got the really big numbers for, so you, the old people can see it. Yeah. And then there's the rascal, which is the uh, thing you ride around. <laughs> right. I want yes. all of it. And then there's the hover round, which is ran by Tom Cruise, but not the Tom Cruise. It's a guy named Tom Cruise. Oh, that it's was hilarious. Like, I was like, what, really? No. Oh. And it's just powered by Scientology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to get to work? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so they have the dinner. Um, she's still going alive. So, yeah, they're in like. I guess what would be modern day Israel? I, I'm, I'm thinking. I have no there's archaeology digs, um, a lot of like heavy British influence, um, and then they're out on a dig, and everyone starts going doing their own thing. Yeah, and it seems so odd. Yeah, they go to this like archaeological dig site. Yeah, why would they have like tourists walking around? I I um, think. Back in that time, like that, the Brit like that was the British colony stuff was big. Like, expand mm -hmm. the empire, so they wanted they actually wanted people to go out living and visiting these areas to bring it more culture, more. They didn't re visiting like the region in general. I understand, but like I'm thinking archaeological dig. There's like brittle bones right. and like you know breakable, fragile, expensive things. Yeah, yeah, it's. It wasn't really. I guess I don't trust tourists. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's what I'm saying. Well, you got like, got to think it's not how it is now to where like people are like understand right like certain ways to handle this stuff back then. It's like oh, just dig this crap up and bring it out and put it up on display. Right. I really knew it was a murder mystery movie when kind of like what you said, Brian, is when the movie just kept introducing quirky characters. Yes. Right. In like, yeah. in like rapid succession. Yeah. yeah. It kind of reminds me of Clue, except Clue is a way better movie. Yeah, I was going right. to say, this is like, like a really bad Clue movie. Yes. Like a really, yeah. yeah. And it almost felt like this movie, like you could really die, like dissect it into like sections. 
It's like yeah. the first section is right. the bad mom. The second is Pearl finding his guy, and the yeah. third is him explaining who did it, and then the movie oh, ended. Like there it, was, but there was no payoff. It took so long for him to, to reveal yeah. who was the murderer. Yeah, because yeah. they yeah. first go to that like tea party outside. Yeah, and he like kind of clear some people and then he's like oh I'll reveal it who is at dinner tonight yeah. I was like oh yeah. I'm still going yeah. Yeah. well then everyone there is like yeah let's yeah they're all up for it well cause it I really you either have to love these types of movies or actually be part of a murder mystery and want to hear what's going to happen. Oh, could you imagine you to go like to one of those like mystery murder oh, dinners? Yeah, no, no, I that couldn't do it. That sounds fucking terrible. Yeah, like, I could. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look yeah. under your div and you will find a key. Yeah, like, I, w- I wouldn't hey, like that at all. Hey, fucko, shut up. I'm trying to fucking eat my salad. Yes. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, that's how like who you know who thinks that who, who thinks that's a guy that fucking improv people. Oh, uh, uh, I was oh, yeah. theater kids. Dude, yeah. 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 yeah, no. <laughs> but it's just like... Well, I, I don't like being talked to by, like... But when I'm going out to eat with... I'm usually with friends or family, and I'm enjoying it with them. But when, like, people, like, start sitting at your table... Like, I went to Tilt and Kilt once, and I'm just... He, I think I got... Just eating food with my friends, and, like, a couple of, like, the... Um, the shot girls. Yeah, like, just come up and start talking. And I'm just like, I want to enjoy my, my yeah. pulled pork or something. You like, just want my money. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't, I'm not here to talk to you. I want to enjoy my friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, there were, I, the part, <laughs> <laughs> the part where Perot, that one guy's like, I'm going to talk to you in front of this person and everything. And then he's standing there and the guy walks up and also he runs away. Mm-hmm. And yes. I see who's walking behind Perot. I'm like, I know who did it. Yeah, uh, I knew right. I knew right there that it. Should we it say? It took me longer. Than, yeah, we can fucking say it's not. Uh, it was the uh, spoiler from that Parliament woman, the woman that was in Parliament. Uh, was what that, was her name? Was that Linda Bacall or uh, she the looked, actress's name? She not looked the like name. she was. Oh, Lady West. Something Tom. that I re- yes. I remembered, but I couldn't recall yeah. like her name. But it's funny. So like when they're like chasing down Hassan. Yes. Oh like, yeah. They're yeah. chasing him down, and like you know, like he gets shot in the back and stuff like that. So like they're all surrounding, you know, uh, the, uh, what, the Dr. King. Yeah. yeah. And like she's like, it's like, oh, she's done for. And then all of a sudden, here come all these shol- soldiers. Yeah. yeah. Shooting up in the yeah. air, yeah. and then they like, you know, all the bad guys scram, and yeah. then the guys stop, continue <laughs> shooting in the yeah, air. Yeah. It's like at one fourteen, hour fourteen in. I'm like, it was very funny because it's like, yeah, rooting, tooting. Right. Yeah. It was. Uh, Cause I, I, cause I don't like these movies. Like they don't want to like really show violence. It's always, it's always the. Well, they need to be able to show this in middle school. So yeah, right. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, God, yeah, Agatha Christie wasn't a very like violent. It was like, ooh, no. who, oh, who done it? Like this happened to this person. Who? Well, what happened? Oh no, I don't really care. As soon as they are like, oh, there's gonna be a firework display tonight. I was like, someone's getting shot. Yeah, I yeah. Right. Same time. Yeah, same time. yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I, you know, I kind of felt bad for. Perot, yeah, just because he's on vacation, he's trying to enjoy his time. Yeah. Someone has to die. He's like, "Oh, I guess it's time to go to work." I'm like, "Dude, no, hey, enjoy." Brand. Crime never sleeps. That's I do. That's you know, <laughs> yeah, and that's why you're not crying. Exactly. Exactly. That's not your middle name. Right. That's true. Brand, brand crime, crime. crime. <laughs> White. <laughs> Good thing your last name isn't here because then you get brand brand white crime. That is true. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it is strange. Like when I get mail. You know, some of the people they were like your last name first and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. So I was gonna go for like white, white Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's yeah, no other kind of Brandon over there. <laughs> yeah, it's like you guys did it. You figured it out. Any whites here? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, here I am. <laughs> uh, I was like, well, how do you spell your last name? And I like the color W H I T. It's like, well, I like the color, like or the absence of. <laughs> <laughs> You're that guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, buzzkill. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, so at this part, I'm like, oh, who did it? Even though it's like, yeah, you know, and it's like a good 20 to 25 minutes of Perot explaining yes. how you it really I mean, figure it's very, yeah, that's why you let them to warm up your little hands. Little handsies. Um, I think my favorite part mm-hmm. of the whole thing was at the end when like the, the Dr. King and the other guy, she's like, oh, I'm going to America. And then the lawyer, um, Jackson or Jefferson or whatever, with the other chick, and she's like, I'm going to America to dig. I'm going digging in America, Monsieur Paro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what a Ralph Wiggum yeah. response. Right. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, like, the movie should have been focused on this lady. Because that <laughs> She's was, the real winner. Exactly. Like, that was just, 
Amazing. I found something. It's an arrowhead. <laughs> no, Ralph. It's part of your tri blade that broke off. <laughs> no, my favorite part is when uh, the uh, inspector, uh, Monsieur uh, Perot, yeah. he's like sitting at the bar talking to someone. And he's sitting there explaining. And then all of a sudden, I think it's it must be Lennox and Carrie Fisher that walk past him. To ask our American friends if they have, uh, if they have any knowledge of that person. He like says it in this really weird voice that doesn't, he hasn't talked in that right. way the whole movie. I, I did like his a little, like, there were a few, like, quips he had. Like, the parts where it's like the wah wah type yeah. stuff. Like, right. he, he, and it was only him, though. Yes. He was the only one that, like, had those. Like, well, okay then. Hold on. They like should that. have had him break the fourth wall, like, all the time. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would have enjoyed that. So I, yes, I, I can enjoy his quips and his little one liners. Right. I think that accent, though, he's just hamming it up too much. Yeah, yeah. well, because it would change. It wasn't always the yeah. same. <gasps> what if Kelsey Grammer played that oh, part? Dude, if Kelsey Grammer... I, they would have Go for God's sakes. Oh, I would have loved it. Oh, dude. I don't have any more notes. Yeah, I Let, have. Yeah, I've got. And it, yeah. ends, and it ends with more sitcom music. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Last note I have is... Freak Sean the Triangle. So, <laughs> Lady Westholm, who killed the mom. Did she commit suicide at yes. the end? Yeah, that's what I was questioning too. Okay, yeah, because yeah. that's what I assumed. She did, but then Perot's like, "Oh, she killed herself cleaning her gun," and it shows the newspaper article that says "clean by killing or er, uh, cleaning her gun." Yeah, because yeah. Perot was like, "We want to like save her dignity, yeah. right?" So let's just say that it was that oh, instead yeah, of yeah, right. because if she would have killed herself, it would have looked right. bad it's, on the British government. It would have uh, looked bad, yeah, okay. because she was in Parliament. You know, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> and it would have been like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah, yes. The most famous notes from Parliament. <laughs> I do my best. I did. I try harder. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, that was hurtful. But <laughs> uh, anything else? No, no nope. that's all I got. Uh, I'm I'm man. <sighs> After much discussion. No. Okay. <laughs> I really hope this is the only Agatha Christie that Canon Group did do because yeah. I do now want to sit through they the, did the whole series. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> did she write like a thousand she, books or something? Uh, I, don't she, a, no, I don't know if it's a thousand, but a lot. She yes. wrote a lot. Yuck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Brian, do you recommend? Uh, I was gonna say Ten Little Indians, but that's not it. Uh, Appointment with Death. No. 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 Yeah. Uh, I don't recommend this either. But. It's terrible. Soundtrack's terrible. Probably something that I'd fall asleep while watching in middle school English. Yeah. So, no, not good. Is there any redeeming quality about this movie? Like, is there like one part that you're like, oh man, that was a gut buster laugh. There was no oh man, but the part where I kind of like had a blurt out ha moment like that <laughs> was at the end when she's like, I'm gonna dig. Oh, yeah. Just that. It's like, <laughs> good for you. That's yeah. like literally like yeah. the last scene of the movie. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's, awesome. maybe some of the like Pro stuff where he was kind right. of, but even that isn't mm -hmm. worth it to like mm -hmm. see that now. Yeah. No, nothing, nothing saves it. Nothing's yeah. like, oh, I gotta watch it just for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll yeah. do it for uh, this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, there it is. Well, good journey. good journey. If you like Nick Cage and horrible great movies from the Canon Group films, then like, comment, and subscribe for Nick Uncaged podcast.